On tonight's show, you'll meet an extraordinary character. In the 1980s, Howard Bloom was the top publicist in the music industry with clients like Joan Jett, Michael Jackson, and Prince. Help us get going here in New York. And it would be like one after another, a Howard Bloom client would have a number one record. His career was legendary, but in 1988, Howard fell ill with chronic fatigue syndrome and has been bedridden ever since. Despite his illness, Bloom typed out the scientific theories he'd been thinking about his entire life. Howard shows how nature sharpens its scalpel to make uh, groovier beads. Basically, Howard was ahead of the curve. I could try to convince you that Howard Bloom is next on a very short list that includes Darwin, Einstein, and Buckminster Fuller, and how he's going to change the way we see ourselves and everything around us. But Howard can probably do a much better job of convincing you himself. So this is called the Grand Unified Theory of Everything in the Universe, including the Human Soul. What does the hypothalamus do? What scientists repress? Masculinity in sexless lizards. There are over 9,000 of these chapters. The stuff that keeps it all together, the glue is in here. And once I'm gone, that glue is gone. Meanwhile, I'm also looking for a new girlfriend. I never know what to say to these people. What I said with this person is, ah, you live in the East Village. Uh, with this person, do you like books? I write them.